it's mid-May and I need to do certificates. You've been there. You went to, if you've been around a while, you went to Microsoft Office and downloaded a template that you could plug in the name of your school, the name of the kid, give them a certificate, yay, everything's good. I wanted to do something where a Google form submit would create a PDF for me. And it turns out that I can't use those pretty Word documents because they um, they have layered images and Google Docs needs to be cleaner than that. So while I need to create a little crest to decorate the page, I ended up with a form uh, that you'll see later, sorry, a template that is pretty plain Jane with uh, text. This is a spreadsheet that is the result of a form. You probably recognize the timestamp and then the fields that are input. I wanted to, sorry, I wanted to go to tools and go to the um, script gallery. So I go to tools script gallery and I find that I want one called autocrat. So I put that in there. I want the English version and I press install. Couple of scripts that I've used all require multiple times of installation and authorization, so I do that sequence. And now Autocrat is a new tab. I go to that, I did an install, and it says these are the tags that we recognize from the form fields, and these are the Chevron tag name that we're giving them. So then I used that to go and create my document. Uh, let's see. This is the document that I ended up creating. So just some text, text, and then a chevron with a field name, text, chevron, and so on. So using that, so using the chevrons that they gave me, I made the template. I also made a folder for the template to live in, along with the form, the resulting spreadsheets, and then Autocrat makes a new merge document folder that I'll use to keep the kids' uh, certificates on file for me uh, into the future. Okay, so I now get to go choose that template from Drive, and there it is. It's the first one that it comes up with. I can also do a search if I need to, but I'll select that one. Uh, next couple of screens don't really mean anything to me. It is the template I want. I do, in fact, want to merge the form responses and I don't need to set any merge conditions. So that was just a save, save, submit, whatever, save mappings, same thing. Until I get to step five. Now step five is the complicated one in Autocrat for me. Um, I have the the, mer the chevrons became dollar sign merge field names. I do want to save the merged files to docs. Um, ultimately I do want to have these go into the default folder which is uh, new uh, merge documents. For file naming convention, I want to have it be file named uh, completion certification and then student's full name drawn from up here uh, and then for which course did they complete. So the, I used a combination of plain text and merge fields to get file naming conventions done. Uh, I want to create a PDF. I do want to save links to a merge docs and I want to email and share those um, merged files via email. So the recipient email addresses, first of all, I want one of them to go to me, and then I want one to go to the student's address and another to go to the parent's email address. The email subject then is some plain text, a merge field, which course did you complete, and then more plain text. The short note to recipients. At first I wrote my note and I finished it with sincerely, Tim Chase, and then I realized, uh, well, I tried it out. Um, let's see, I'll do a trigger merge form on submit. But then I realized that when I actually tried it, I needed to do more HTML. So it ended up looking uh, like this with line breaks and uh, periodically I would do bolding and stuff. But the line breaks really did help that a lot. Save settings and it'll. I'll do a run merge now just to see. Uh, and I found that it was too tall, there's a, one of the autocrat fields is tall, so I highlight everything and do word wrap. And this is what it finally sends to me, the student and the student's parents, as a certificate with all the information.